guys, Lost Souls Rain Girl here, and we are back with my Sims Kingdom. Now, I don't remember what happened, was happening last time, but I think we were gonna do a lab thing. Yeah, we need to hook these up here now, I remember. Um, uh, some terrible news has happened. My ba braces broke again. Uh, um... Let me tell you how. Well, I also do this. Um. So, I was eating something. I, I don't remember exactly what, but I was watching one of Stampy's videos. Like always. And, like, this usually doesn't really get me, but since I was, like, eating, and I really wasn't expecting it to happen. So, um. So, I was eating. And I had, I was eating with a fork. I don't remember what it was, though. But, all I remember is just watching the video, like I always do, no harm in that. And all of a sudden, a creeper comes out of nowhere and explodes. And that usually would not scare me, but since I was way off guard and I had no idea that it was going to happen, even though I should have, like, expected it, I didn't. And I had the fork in my mouth, and I bit down really hard, and, yeah. You can probably guess what happened from there on. Uh, yeah. I was really not expecting that, so Stampy, if you're watching this, yum, you got me. Even though I should have been expecting it, I wasn't, and I, yeah. I don't think he was expecting it either, but still, you don't really expect something like that to happen. A creeper coming out of absolutely nowhere. Like, they do that, but just the thing of that, I had no idea where it came from. Also, it was creepy to me. It was weird. And it, of course, scared me, and I bit down on my fork. And, yeah, I broke my braces. <laughs> um, of course, all of these videos that I'm recording are recorded ahead of time. Like, a long time ahead of time, but I don't upload them until Friday. Fridays. So, um... Yeah, by the time you're watching this, in from the very first episode that uploaded on Friday, it should be, um, I think it should be Sunday that I'm recording on right now? Yeah, from Friday, I think. Is the 12th Sunday? I'm not sure. But, yeah. When it happens, when it happened, this is prior recorded, but I should have really recorded my reaction to that, so like, <gasps> and then all of a sudden, your brace is breaking, you also get another type of reaction of panic, that, oh my gosh, my mom's gonna kill me. Like that. Yeah. Nice, the fuel is, fuel is measuring at four... 497% explosiveness. That's excellent. What? 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 No, 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 no. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Where's this go over here? Still, it scared me. Hmm, <clears throat> this isn't any good. We need these computers to be working in order to complete our pre-flight test. 
Here you'll need this roll for an electrical generator. Come talk to me when you finish with that. Where am I supposed to get electric eels from? Is it the one up here? Because I did not catch any back there. episode was this fire station one. Yeah. It was his fire station when he was building his fire station. So, yeah. Brace is broke. Can't do anything about it right now. And I don't think it was just the creeper that got me. I mean, like, the way that he reacted. Like, his panic. Like, stand by. I thought you said you weren't going to panic. I mean, it was just so funny. But then scary at the same time, because... You expected him to say that he wasn't going to panic, but then he panicked, and that scared me. Okay, electrical generator, short wire, long wire, elbow wire, D wire. Okay, so yeah. Just his little panic session, and the whole experience scared me so much that I ended up biting down on my fork and breaking my braces. Wow, that was prompt good work. Now let's see. We need these computers to be working in order to complete our pre-flight test. Can you hook up some electrical power here? Spring grill, here is how it is going to work. I will explain it. You must attach the Dr. F hypercharging Venturi converter to my deluxe Themotron. You must then connect the computing some pew terminals to the f en ener F energy converter which with sections of my triphasic superconding transfer conducts then science will continue and the science will continue I think what he means to say, hook up the power generator up to anything that is spinning just like you would with the water pump, and simply connect the wire, the wires from the plugs on the generator to plug to the plugs on the back of the computers. It's pretty simple, Dragon Girl. I'm sure you'll do fine. I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, and another th bad thing happened. I'm just having a terrible day today. Um, so I was watching YouTube videos on my mom's laptop, like I usually do. My iPod is on my nightstand next to my bed. And usually whenever it flashes on, I always get the instinct that I have an email. I have an email. So then I look over, and it's a black screen, and it says plug into iTunes, and I was like, what? So then I do, and it says I have to restart my whole iPod, but I'll lose everything. And the problem with that is, if I lose everything on there, I will lose some of my YouTube videos, too. 
which I, of course, don't want. And I'm sure some of you don't want either. So I'm pretty mad right now. At Apple for pulling this little stunt. And I just looked over my iPad because I thought it was going to... Because I thought um, someone wanted to talk again. Or it was just... Bat Lexi again? I think that's how you say it. Sorry, dude, if I mispronounce it, but I just had a ter- I'm having a terrible day. Oh, uh, I thought he just wanted to talk again, so I looked over, and this is that screen on there. And before any of you consider this, no, we are not dating, we are just friends. I already have a boyfriend, and some of you would know that if you look on my Twitter page. Wait, I haven't, I haven't even told you guys about my Twitter. I am so sorry. I have a Twitter, um, 1212 Dragon Girl. Not the at, but it's 1212 Dragon Girl. I cannot remember the at, but I won't be able to use my Twitter unless my iPad gets fixed, because I can only use Twitter on my iPad, which sucks. So, yeah, anybody want to help? Please help. Because <laughs> I do not want to lose any of my data either. Because, like, there are some games on there that I have worked hard on. And some videos that are very important to me. And a lot of pictures that are... There's a lot of things on there that are dear close to my heart. And I do not want to lose them at all. So if any of you know how to fix it without losing anything, please tell me. I don't want to lose anything on there. I mean, there's so many memories and... Yeah, there's so many memories from YouTube, um... And other things that I've been into or a part of. And just picture if you were going to lose something that was dear to your heart. It hurts pretty bad. And I don't want to, and I do not want you guys to either, because... Great amount of mana. Again. But yeah, I really don't want to lose anything. And I'm sure you guys wouldn't want me to lose that stuff too. So. It's just really sad. And I'm angry at. I'm angry at Apple for actually putting that on my iPad for no apparent reason at all. It makes no sense. Okay, alright. I'll run some launch simulations here. Why don't you go see what the others are up to? I want that. Post, also post in the comments if that has got pulled on that's not that pulled on you too before. Like I didn't jailbreak or anything. I did nothing. I was just sitting there on my computer, looked over, thought I got an email, and that screen just shows up. Weird. And the bad thing about it is that I, as soon as I finished watching a YouTube video, I was going to record a video on my iPod. Which also sucks because if I also reset my iPod, I will not get to keep any of my iTunes money or any of my music or data. All my Minecraft data on there. And 
and other games too. And yes, I was going to record a Minecraft video on my iPad. But it's not one that you would like think of. It would. I would just be showing off something that I built. that I, of course, spent, like, a month on. And then, when the new update came out, it changed a lot. I mean, there were, like, I put roses all around it, and, of course, Mom Jong had to get rid of roses. So then, they changed them all to poppies, and I didn't, like, I didn't, like, the red color didn't go with anything in it. So I had to change them to daisies, which they were all around the house, so it took forever. But then, it's also really, really laggy and stuff, which I don't like. The game was totally fine before the update. They said they fixed a few bugs. No, they, and maybe a little bit added. No, you pretty much messed up the whole game. They messed up the whole game. It's too laggy and everything. Like, the only thing they really needed to fix was that if you place on, like, like, I would be placing down, like, I would place down, like, six signs, and then I would lag out of the game. And then whatever I wrote on the last sign would be gone. Like, that was the only thing that they had to fix. They didn't have to fix the whole entire game. Because it just ruined the whole entire game. Because if you go into the double height grass, you'll totally lag out of the game, no matter what. It's not good. It's not good or cool. And the command buttons are so confusing. I mean... And they just get in the way of everything, too. I want it all to be like it was when it back then. Before the update. Hey, Dream Village, I just really excited. If any of you are experiencing stuff like this, please post in the comments below. So I do not want to be alone in this. It's not fun. Computer. It's not fun or anything. It's not funny, even. Like, I try to, like, X out of that screen, I'm like, what? I can't do it? It just makes me so mad. What is, what's that dream girl? Oh, that crazy doctor invented some sort of power generator? Fantastic. Let us use it to hook up this arcade machine here. You can either place... Where the heck is that coming from? You can either place it... Now, another generator, or just split off some power from those computers up there.
Oh, it's working. That's sweet. Okay, time to get the high score. Preparations are complete. Now the only thing remains the ceremony. Oh, please, not this again. Not the sandwiches. Sandwiches. Everyone must eat sandwiches in honor of our brave pilot. Let there be sandwiches. What do you want me to do? Conjure some sandwiches out of the thin air? Well, I just happen to know a place where you can get good, a good sandwich at a great price. Welcome to Tobar's, Tobar's Diner. Grand opening. So I thank you, Tobar. As you all know, Vic Vector has expected a position as our new test pilot to commemorate the occasion. Dr. F would like to say a few words. Dr. F, we are gathered here today to honor the memory of Vic Vector. Hooray, what? Wait. Memory? He was a good janitor. Strong and true, his sacrifice will not be forgotten. What? They gonna... Oh. 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 Sacrifice? Wait a second. Is this dangerous or something? No, no, you'll be fine. Death by blowing up is not the best way to go. Probably the worst, but fix knew it was all for the greater good. Uh, what? That's just cruel. But I don't want to blow up. Let us mourn the loss of this brave man with a tasty lunch. What? Eat your grief sandwiches. Ceremony complete. But I don't want to blow up. I don't want you to blow up either. Looks like Vic is having second thoughts about the launch. We need to restore his confidence. Strike now. I need you to make Vic into a hero. How is going to be a hero when you're just going to blow him up? This isn't funny. I don't, I thought this was supposed to be a game. A kid game. No one's supposed to die. <laughs> Thanks for helping Vic out. It really looked like he was, he needed a confidence boost. What? That's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time to see if he gets blown up, which I don't want. But still, if this is the first video you've seen by me, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. KK.